Welcome to the Honda Power Equipment video on EB and EG2800i Honda Generator Maintenance. In this video, we'll show you how to perform four basic maintenance items on your generator. Take a moment to read the safety labels on the generator. These labels warn you of potential hazards that can cause serious injury. Consult the owner's manual regarding the possible hazards of operation of this generator. Using a generator indoors can kill you in minutes. Generator exhaust contains carbon monoxide. This is a poison you cannot see or smell. Never use inside a home or garage, even if doors and windows are open. Only use outside and far away from windows, doors, and vents. Drain the oil while the engine is warm, but not hot, to assure rapid and complete draining. Place the generator on a level surface, and it may be helpful to raise the frame of the generator with 2x4s. Place a suitable container below the engine to catch the oil, then remove the drain plug and sealing washer. Remove the oil filler cap and drain the oil. It might get a little messy here. Reinstall the oil drain plug with a new sealing washer. Tighten the plug securely. With the generator still in a level position, refill the engine with SAE 10W30 oil using a funnel. When the oil just begins to run out of the oil filler neck, the oil level is correct. Reinstall the oil dipstick and screw it in until it's tight. Wipe up any excess oil. A properly maintained air filter will help prevent dust from entering your engine. Note that dust getting into the carburetor can cause premature engine wear, starting or running problems. Release and remove the air box lid to access the outer air filter. Remove the paper and outer filters from the air cleaner base. Inspect the paper air filter and if dirty, tap the filter on a hard surface, replace the filter if necessary. Wash the outer filter in a solution of household dish detergent in warm water, then rinse thoroughly. Allow the air filter to dry completely. Soak the outer filter in clean engine oil and squeeze out the excess oil. Make sure the outer filter is not under the tabs, as shown in the image on the right. Finally, reinstall the air filters and the air cleaner cover. Be sure the rubber seal on the filter cover is set in the groove. Always allow the engine to cool before changing the spark plug. To inspect the plug, disconnect the spark plug wire. Remove the spark plug with a 13 16th inch or 21 millimeter spark plug socket. Inspect the spark plug and replace it if it's fouled, the electrode is worn, or if the insulator is cracked or chipped. Measure the spark plug electrode gap with a spark plug gap gauge. The spark plug gap should be 0.7 to 0.8 millimeters. Install the spark plug carefully by hand to avoid cross-threading. If you're reinstalling the old spark plug, tighten one eighth to a quarter turn after the spark plug seats. If installing a brand new spark plug, tighten half a turn after the spark plug seats to compress the sealing washer. Do not over-tighten the spark plug. Now reconnect the spark plug wire. The spark arrestor must be serviced at 100 hours or as needed. First allow the engine to cool. Disconnect the spark plug cap. 
Remove the 4mm self-tapping screw. Then remove the spark arrestor and inspect for carbon deposits near where the spark arrestor mounts. Using a brush, remove the carbon from the screen. Reinstall the self-tapping screw and tighten securely. Refer to the owner's manual maintenance schedule for a complete list of maintenance items. Some maintenance items should be serviced by your Honda dealer unless you have the proper tools and are mechanically proficient. Failure to follow this maintenance schedule could result in non-warrantable failures or reduced service life. This concludes the video tutorial on how to maintain your EB or EG2800i Honda generator. Always refer to the owner's manual for clarification and more detail on the procedures shown in this video.